Hey guys, what's up? This is Blender 3D Animator. This next tutorial. Um, today's tutorial is on creating hair in Blender. So, to start off, delete your default cube and space add mesh monkey. Um, we're gonna subsurf it. Watch. Press apply. Smooth it out. Rotate it 90 degrees on your x axis. Now what you want to do is you go to your uh, object or editing or whatever tab that is. Particles tab. Add new particle system. Select hair. And select the amount of hair that you want. A thousand is um, for a relatively decent computer. Um, like a uh, telepanium for at like 3 gigahertz. So, anything lower than computer specs with a decent amount of RAM would probably be like 500 amount. So, um, you can select random and even, increase your normals, increase your randoms a bit. Alright, so you don't want the hair coming out all over the monkey head, obviously. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into weight paint. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to view top and um, select where you'd want the hair to be all right so I have all the spots that I want the hair selected so go back into object mode Press these little arrows right here under vertex group. It's like group. Now the hair only comes out where you select it. Now it looks like some metal head monkey rocker. Whatever. So now what you do is go to particle mode, set editable. Press the N key and you'll get the particle edit properties box. What I want you to do is select your comb. And you go to your uh, side view and literally comb the hair of your monkey just by using your left mouse button. Nice and easy, nothing tricky about it. Try it any way you like. So, just kind of cut that hair down however you want. Alright, so, actually, I'm going to try this pluck thing. Okay, anyway, so now you can just go back into your object mode, and as you can see, um, like for example, if you want to render it, the only thing that appears is the hair. So what you want to do to fix that is under render, select emitter. Now if you render your scene, your monkey head also appears. Now if we had our light set up a little better, that would help. Okay, there we go. Just render that scene real quick and your monkey head pretty cool, yeah da 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 da. Alright. So now to make this hair animal. But first why don't we texture it, you know? Alright, so first what you're gonna want to do is select like the color of your, your head. So let's go with like a bluish color. Okay, that's good. So if you render that frame, everything's blue not what I wanted so what we have to do is go back into our particles tab or um, our editing tab create a new material select any color that you want I'm gonna choose black actually I'm gonna choose like a dark orange like a brown yellow I'm gonna go with yellow next what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your particles tab render real 2 so now what that does is your second material becomes the particle, which is the hair. So it's now yellow, 
kind of blush. Pretty neat. So now what you guys want to know how to do is to animate it. Now if you just press Alt A, nothing happens. So what you have to do is go to Physics tab, select Particle System, unless you named your Particle System something else, and select Soft Body. Now all you have to do is press Alt A, and the first problem that you can obviously see is the hair falling through the monkey head. All you have to do to fix that, I think, is select collision here. But the last time I did that, Blender EXE crashed. So I really don't have the, uh, feel like having that happen right now. So anyway, you can just animate that. And just give it a second if you want. If you really wanted to, you could rotate your monkey head. So insert a keyframe here. Jump up a couple frames. Uh, and rotate this thing again. So now go back. Oh, I don't think I ever inserted that keyframe. Jesus. Alright. Rotate Z 360 degrees. Insert rotation. There we go. So now all you have to do is animate. Or not. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe you bake. To be honest, I really don't know at the moment. Anywho. Um. Pretty much the basics to animating the hair. Um. Yeah. If you kind of move it, sometimes the hair really shakes around. You definitely have to adjust your soft body settings to get it not, like, spazzed. Otherwise, it just completely jumps around. But, while it's jumping around, let's render a frame of it jumping around. And, you get some really nice up hair. So, nice easy tutorial, nothing hard. Um, I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Later.